the children who become facile in using American Sign Language, they have more than one modality through which they can communicate. And uh, we think this is incredibly important. So um, we have also incorporated Navajo language and part of our indigenous culture here. So the kids actually have three ways to express themselves. And of course, three ways to understand. It's important to teach Navajo language to our students because it was our very first language. I myself learned the Navajo language first when I was little. That was my first language. <laughs> Growing up, um, my parents talked to me in Navajo, but I never learned Navajo. Um, I understand Navajo, but speaking Navajo, um, it takes me a while to think about it before I actually say it. Because in my mind, I know what I'm saying, but speaking it, I'm afraid that it's not going to come out right. <laughs> We don't speak it at home because I don't speak Navajo. Um, but I think it's important that they learn. And I tried to learn a couple times in school, but it just I just couldn't pick it up to very well, I guess. But um, I'm glad my kids are taking it, and I think they should. We use our Navajo language on a daily basis. In the morning when we come in, we greet one another in dinner. Yat e shikis, yat e bine. When we are in circle, we sing dinner geche sin. The first couple times, I mean, when you start talking to them more and more in Navajo, they tend to start grasping what you're saying. But a lot of them, they grew up in a environment where their parents are talking English only, a little bit of Navajo from grandparents. I mean, I think that small portion of what they get from their grandparents comes to the classroom and then they start grasping just different words of what they know. <laughs> Sanchikin <laughs> 
As a parent, language is very important for my child. It's very important that she is um, she's being challenged to speak and to think in our native language while in school. And so to have our Navajo language integrated into the class, into every day, they're speaking it, they're thinking it, um, they're being taught new words, uh, that, to me, is really important. As a parent, I am very grateful that, you know, our teachers are taking the time to keep the um, knowledge of the Navajo language and the culture inside the schools and to keep it going and to help our children understand that, you know, our culture and our language goes way, way back. It's easier to explain things in Navajo for me because in Navajo was my first language. And it's important to have a native Navajo speaker in the classroom. I firmly believe that. We were lucky enough to have Miss Lou in our classroom for the past month or so every day, for just for the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the day, yep. and it changed everything. I was speaking more Navajo, he was speaking more Navajo. We were all um, just really excited about it. <laughs> We're very fortunate to have um, two women in the classroom who are, uh, um, of course, native speakers, and so they are able to speak to the children uh, as, as, as much as possible. I myself have learned a lot about the Nav Navajo culture, and it's really neat because the kids know more than, than they think even. We can ask them something, they'll be like, oh, oh, I know about that, and they can tell you everything. Um, I would say that the language is something we are working really hard on trying to just amp it up every single day, every single week. We try to incorporate as much Navajo language as we possibly can. They call it Ma'i because he used to be in stories in the, Na in the Navajo ancient times. He's the one that doesn't listen and he always tries it, and he but he gets in trouble. Na'ashe'i. 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 Lechei. 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 Nahoe. You're so close. Nahoe. Nahoe. So using what they know, building their backgrounds, and then encouraging them to use what they know reinforces them to use Navajo. They are. A long time ago, my mom and dad used to tell me, go to school, learn the English language, learn uh, more of interpreting of what they told me was learn the white man's language, so you have a better, better understanding of the world. But when you learn the English language, do not forget your native language, your Navajo language, because it's part of you. It just makes you stronger and you think better. I feel very proud and so happy to hear them, you know, talk and use the language, you know. Every now and then you will hear, you know, some students, you know, talking with one another like that. Today we're 
using more Navajo language in the schools and but it would be nice you know to have all the kids speaking the language using the language you know when these kids go home and they can speak in Navajo even though it may be simple numbering skills or or it may be skills of talking about their heritage that kind of thing <clears throat> then their grandparents of course are going to be thrilled and see that their children really are learning more than they thought they would learn so it opens up doors of higher expectations i think but it's trying to find World War Two, yeah, done. Nihit the ne, does ba. Ah, the nihisa that should I use a tope on esna. Ebony na benasha benel no nisa digit. Ah, ah, sasha bayel kido boil ah on John Dole, Anilsko, Nahachin, and Holtani, Nalkeni, it's okay. All you hear is English, even on the reservation, you go to Tuba, Chinli, Kienta, all. Shiprock, all you hear is English. I mean, so Navajo language is important, so it doesn't die out like some of the tribes did. I mean, so we're, as a Navajo instructor, I mean, I try to influence more of the Navajo language to kids. It's important to teach our students Navajo language because we need to keep our language alive. The more we teach our children in our own language, you know, they can go anywhere and be proud of themselves. We are the world with Yehi, Ebe Dahui Tasole. Anot Kotahot Tas.